speaker was there. Just a second. Let me take out the question. Okay. The question says that in the figure AE, AE is 14, which I have written over here. AC is 13, which also I have written. BC is 5. Find the value of tan theta. We have to find tan theta over here. First, we will focus on right angle triangle, right? See, this question yesterday I have given. Uh, day before yesterday, I have given for assignment. Same question. I, that's why the complete question I have not written. You must have got the assignment. Only the figure I have uh, copy pasted over here. This is the right angle triangle, right? Yes. From here only we will be finding tan theta. Now tan theta, the formula is opposite of this and right. According to the mentioned angle theta over here, which one is the opposite side and which one is the adjacent side? Opposite is. See, I have not marked over here. Just to see. Just to see. A, this was to DC. And adjacent is. ED. So this is opposite, this is adjacent. Now the question is do we know this side DC? No. Do we know? Do we know this side DE? No. Is it possible to find the side DE at first? DE. If this complete length is 14. And this much, which is parallel, exactly parallel to this this line. Okay, here we are having a complete length. This is 40. And there is a line which is just parallel. 
parallel to the previous line and that is 5 so can we say this much like this much is this much is 5 can we say but then we can't assume it right assume it uh, the figure is given in such a way that this is how we have to use the data here it is not mentioned that it's parallel but when we'll be doing the chapter application of trigonometry then every like in each and every question we will be getting this scenario and we have to assume that this two are parallel line here of the figure which we are having over here that is nothing but just a rectangle where this side and this side are same and this side and this side are same and then only we will be able to find the unknowns okay so that is uh, let me check any uh, explanation in the figure a a c yeah nothing is given yeah still we have to take still we have to take this a b a b and c d this two are of equal length and a d and b c are of equal length basically a b c d is a rectangle over here so we have to assume that a b c d is a rectangle too yes basically we have to assume that ABCD is a rectangle. Not only in this problem, wherever we'll be having this type of scenario, in every time we are going to treat it like a rectangle only, where the parallel sides are of equal length also. So if this is five, that is also that will also be five. And from there only we will be able to find this much is five. From there only we will be able to find this remaining three. That is 14 minus 5. Can we see? Yes. So we're just randomly going to assume that DA is 5. Yeah, randomly, no. We are not assuming randomly. Enough. See, a line is there in the figure. Can you see it is crystal clear that even if you are not assuming it is parallel, can you see this length and this much length is exactly the same? Yes. So if this is 5, can we say this is 5? Yeah. Even if you are not saying that, okay, I, I will not assume that that is a parallel line from where explanation is not given in that question. Okay, I, I agree with you. But this much length and this much length is still same, right? Because here there is a horizontal line, exactly horizontal line which is making 90 degree over here. So, of course, this length is 5, then that length will also be 5. We can see that in the figure it is visible, right? Yes. Okay, that's why we are saying that this is also 5 and the remaining will be 14 minus 5, can we say? Why are we assuming that it's pi, uh, like it's a rectangle and not a square? Okay, you want to say it's a square? Yeah, that we will check it. A square is also a rectangle only. A square is also a rectangle only where length and breadth are same. Okay, so you take it as a square only. We don't know whether it's a square or rectangle. It came from the parallelogram family and 90 degree like the figure looks like maybe a rectangle, maybe a square. We are For now, we are just saying that this length and this length are same. Okay. We will see whether it's a rectangle, whether it's a square, we will see. But for now, we are just saying that this two lengths are equal. Okay. So, we will be taking... This D as a 14 minus 5, is it okay? Yes. Okay. Now, what about this BC? Is it also 5? So that we have to check it. Okay. That we will be checking it. That whether that is also 5 or what. So can you see over here? It's too simple. Can you see this triangle? We have to find CD, right? And if the, this is 90, can we say this will also be 90? Mm -hmm. We can say that. So basically, yes. uh, upside down, a right angle triangle, we, we can see over here, where this side, we figured it out that this side is 5, and this 90 degree, and this side is given as a 30. This side we have to find that is the name is DC. Will it be possible to find that side by using Pythagoras theorem? Yes. 
let's find it. Please find it. C D. Everyone, please find it. Everyone getting CTS at 12 by using Pythagoras theorem. Name of the triangle is ADC. ADC. 12, you are getting right. So we can substitute CT as a 12 and D as a D as a 14 minus 5. One more, one more. I just now I noticed that you asked that why we are going to treat it like a rectangle. So you can see here also we are having 90 degrees. It is shown in the figure. Here also there is a 90 degree. There also it's 90 degree. And this shape is nothing but rectangle. It's, it can be square. But rectangle, square is also a rectangle. Square is a special case of rectangle. Okay, square is not different from rectangle. If I'm saying that a square is a rectangle, that means for the case of a square, length is there and breadth is there and both are equal. So, uh, is it okay to call the square as a rectangle? Yes, completely fine. In class 9, there is a complete chapter on this quadrilateral. And on this quadrilateral, quadrilateral, in this quadrilateral family, few, few quadrilateral you must have seen in the previous class. That is trapezium. Trapezium came from the quadrilateral family. Kilogram came from the trapezium family, uh, sorry, quadrilateral family. Height came from quadrilateral family. So can we say parallelogram is a quadrilateral? Yeah, we can say trapezium is a quadrilateral. We can say kite is a quadrilateral. Now parallelogram, parallelogram, from parallelogram family, rectangle is there and rhombus is there. The combination of both are square. So square is a rectangle? Yes. Rectangle is a parallelogram? Yes. Rhombus is a parallelogram? Yes. At first, it is going to obey all the property of parallelogram. Then, apart from that, it is having its own particular specific property. If you want to check, rectangle is a parallelogram? Yes. Opposite sides are parallel and equal. Opposite sides are parallel and equal. Apart from that, there is a property of rectangle that each interior angle is 90 degrees or so. Now, square is following this property of rectangle. That, yeah, this is also parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel and equal. Each interior angle is 90 degrees. From where it got? It got from the rectangle. The way we, we get from our mother, father, from our gene that I have inherited. I, I read book. And that's what I have got, this specific uh, uh, quality I have got from my mother. She also loves reading books and all. So I have inherited from my mother. Similarly, this square have inherited this nature, this qualities from a rectangle. A square is a rectangle. Oh yeah, a square is a rectangle. Getting it? Yes. Okay. So... So, yeah, this this one, you call it a square, you call it rectangle. Specifically, we will, if we will get to know the side, then only we will be able to say. At first, we can say that 90 degree here, 90 degree there, it came from the rectangle pump. Okay? Even if you are going to call it parallelogram, completely okay. Is it clear to everyone? Yes. Yeah, uh, so let's start the discussion. Yes, everyone, please turn on your camera. Yeah. 
The next question is in triangle PQR. Right angle that Q. PR plus QR is equal to 25 centimeter and PQ is 5 centimeter. Determine the value of what happened? Yes, Fazan, why are you anecdoting over here? Fazan. Yes. This is not allowed in class. If anyone will behave like this, I will. Teacher, I do not do anything. Who was doing it? It was someone else. Someone joined with my name. That's why every day in my class I see that I turn on your camera so that I can see you. Just a second.
Yes, everyone, please turn on your camera now. Maha is there. Harshit is there. I can see them. Zanabia. Yeah. Gungun, Galvin. Please turn on your camera. Fazan. Yeah, your camera is already on. Yes, Nua. Yes, please turn on your camera, Nua. If your camera is not working, please try joining with another device. From the next class, if if your camera is not working, please try joining with the different device. If that is also not available, it's completely okay. You can miss one class. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yes, Nua. Are you going to turn on your camera? Unmute yourself. Okay. It's completely okay where you are sitting. Or uh, maybe uh, like uh, you are getting a proper setup or what. Doesn't matter. I just, I'm telling you to turn on your camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Switch on my camera. Yes. Yes. Aisha. See, I will not start the class. If any student from here will not turn on the camera, I will not start the class. Please do it quickly. Do it quickly. Aisha. Aisha, please turn on your camera, Aisha. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I'm changing my device. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. You have seen now what happened in front of you all. A random person came, joined the class and started doing anything over here. So there is a triangle PQR over here, right angle that Q, PR plus QR is given as 25 centimeter, PQ is given as 5 centimeter, determine the value of, we have to determine what is sine P, what is cos P and what is tan P, okay, PR plus QR is 25 centimeter, here PR, this, this PR, and QR, this two added together is 25 centimeter. Here 90 degrees there, angle P is the angle which we have to focus over here. So I think this is not that uh, tricky. You will be able to figure it out what is the length of each and every side and then you can find sine P. Now the question is how you will find the length of PR, QR and PQ is already given. Yeah, one of the equation is given. Another equation you can create by yourself by using Pythagoras theorem. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, you can write it over here that that hypotenuse square is equals to PQ square plus QR square. This one you can write by yourself Pythagoras theorem. So I'm going to leave this question for you. One more step, I'll be showing it to you over here. That is, that is PR square. Suppose you are assuming, okay, let it be PR. Or you can say that from here, you are saying that PR is, let's say you are assuming that PR is X, okay? 
then QR will be 25 minus X. Can we say from here only? Can we? Yes. Okay. Now this PR QR yes, will be substitute in the Pythagoras theorem. You will be getting the value of X. Okay. Maybe X square X square will get cancelled out or maybe you will be getting one quadratic quadratic equation. Okay. So PR is square that is X square is equals to PQ is square. PQ is 5 already given. So 25 directly I am writing plus QR is square. That means 25 minus X complete is square. Now A minus B whole square formula you have to apply. At first you have to find X value. That X is PR. Then you can find QR by subtracting it from 25. And then you can find sine P, cos P and tan P. Will you be able to do it? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's continue. Here it's given that the next question is if angle A and angle B are acute angles, acute angle means what? When we are taking right angle triangle, there is a 90 degree, then only we are going to call it a right angle triangle. Then can you relate that the remaining two angles? Remaining two angle will, of course, will be acute angle only. Yes or no? Yes. Because angle, some property of a triangle says that sum of all the interior angle is 180 degree. So if one of the angle is 90 degree, the sum of other two will also be 90. That means the other two are acute angle only. Right? Yes. So here the question says, that A and B are acute angles. That means C is the right angle, right? Such that, such that cos A is equals to cos B. Then we are supposed to show that angle A is equals to angle B. Okay, let's do it. This one we'll be discussing. This one we'll be doing together. So angle A and angle B are acute angle. Let's draw a right angle triangle. At C, we are maintaining 90 degree. A, B, C, this is how also we can write it. Our acute angle such that cos A is equals to cos B. Okay, it is given over here. It is given over here that cos A is equals to cos B. That means let's write the ratio if angle, what is cos A? What is cos A? According, focus on angle A. The formula of trigonometric ratio cos A formula for that is adjacent over hypotenuse. According, focus on angle A with reference to angle A, which one is the adjacent side and which one is the hypotenuse? AC is adjacent and AB is hypotenuse. So AC is adjacent and AB is hypotenuse. If we have to find cos B, cos B, that means now with reference to angle B, with reference to angle B, which one is, which one is opposite, which, which one is, okay, not opposite, which one is adjacent and which one is hypotenuse? BC with reference to B. BC by AB? Yes, BC by AB. Now, since in the question it is already given that cos A is equals to cos B, let's compare the ratio. We can say that since cos A is equals to cos B, AC by AB is equals to BC by AB. Yes or no? Yeah. From here, can we say that AC is equals to BC? Hmm. We can say that, right? The denominator part is exactly same. If you want, 
you can see it is getting cancelled out. This AB and AB will get cancelled out. How? When you will shift one of the denominator to other side, you will find that it is getting cancelled out. You can see like this. AC is equals to BC by AB was already there. And this side's AB also we have shifted to other side. So it will come with the multiplication. will sit like this and it will get cancelled out. Okay. So we are having AC is equals to BC. Let's mark it in our triangle that AC side and BC side are of equal length. AC side, AC side and BC side are of equal length. Then can we say this is isosceles triangle? If this, this two sides length are same, then which two angle will be same? Angle A and angle B. Angle A and angle B will be same. Opposite to this one is their angle A. Opposite to this one, angle B. So, of course, which implies that, therefore, angle A is equals to angle B. Isosceles triangle property. Getting it? How yeah. we proved that if cos A, is cos, cos A and cos B are same, then... Angle A and angle B will be equal. Now, this is how we have proved it. But every time, whenever this scenario will be there, this type of scenario will be there, that cos A is equal to cos B, we will be, like directly we will say that angle A and angle B are same. How? By com doing the comparison on both sides, we can say angle along with the cos over here and angle along with the cos over there, both will be same. Okay? So here we have proved it. Now, like just after solving few more questions, you will see that every time we will be taking it same by ourselves only. If if sine A is equals to sine 30 will be there, then we will say angle A is 30 degree. Okay. So let's continue. Now, few true false questions are there. The first question is, Stan, I'm not writing the complete statement. Shall I write? Or you can see in your book that tan A is always less than 1. The value of tan A is always less than 1. Now, the statement is true or false? False. Is it true or false? What's your opinion? False. False. It is false. Let's check it. Tan A, B, whatever. The trigonometric ratio for the formula for tan is. What is the formula for tan? What is the formula for tan? Opposite over? Opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. This is the formula for tan. Now, if we are having a right angle triangle randomly, any right angle triangle, opposite side and adjacent side, it, like anyone can be bigger. There is no, like, it's not mandatory that opposite will be bigger or maybe adjacent will be bigger. It's not mandatory. Anyone can be bigger, other one can be smaller. We have seen such right angle triangle where this side is three, this side is four. And we have also seen such right angle triangle where this side is four, this side is three. We just know that hypotenuse is the largest side. About uh, this perpendicular and base, there is no hard and fast rule that uh, this is how it should be always. No, any one can be bigger, other one can be smaller. Doesn't matter. In right angle triangle, the largest side is the hypotenuse, right? Okay, yeah. so opposite over adjacent is always less than one. The, like it is not necessary that it is always less than one. It can be more than one also. Why? Because again, the same scenario, I am showing it to you. Here three, here four, and both, are, both the triangles are completely fine. If you will try finding the ratio, suppose this is A, this is B, this is C. Here, tan A will be opposite over adjacent. That means 3 by 4. Here, you can see the value will be smaller than 1. 
and if you will be taking again the same a b c and tan a you will try finding it will be 4 by 3 and this is more than 1 so the statement always less than 1 is false got it yes next one is sec sec a is 12 by 5 for some value of angle a now let's check it whether this is true or false sec a is 12 over 5 for some value of angle a formula for sec is Formula for sake is who will say what is the formula? Yes, what is the formula? Hypotenuse by base. Hypotenuse over adjacent. Okay, that means bigger number is there in the new hypotenuse means the largest side of right angle triangle. Here also it's reflecting like this. Here also it, it's reflecting like this, 12 over 5. 12 over 5, that means 12 is representing the hypotenuse part and 5 is representing the adjacent side. So the way it is given, the numbers, the bigger number in the numerator is smaller number in the denominator, that is possible, right? So can we say that the given sake is, is equals to 12 over 5 for some value of angle A, it's completely okay, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Let's continue. Cos A is the abbreviation used for O second. Is it so? Cos A is abbreviation of cosecant of angle A. Is it so? False. Recall the proper abbreviation. Sin, S-I-N means S-I-N-E. I have written in the first class. Cos means C-O-S-I-N-E. Cosine I have written. And cosecant means cosec cosec which is the reciprocal of sine so cos a and cosecant a is not same cos. it's not the abbreviation for cosecant getting it yeah it is completely false tan tan is tangent sec is second cosec is cosecant sine is sine is this is this and Cos is cosine. Now cot A. So this is false. Okay. Next is cot A is the product of cot and A. Is it true or false? False. It is false. It is not the product. See, we are having trigonometric ratios over here. We are the, this is representing angle A. Cot angle A is there. It is not the COT. Cot is just multiplied with A. It is not that case. However, it looks so, but it is not the case. Okay. Here we are having a specific trigonometric ratio that is cotangent of angle A. Cotangent of angle A. It is not the product of cot and A. It is completely false. We are just learning uh, it as it is. In future, you will be learning more about this trigonometric ratio as a functions and all. So you will be learning that in detail, how the graph goes and all. But the way we are... Uh, okay, let it be this much. If I'll give more example, you will end up getting confused. Now, the last, last question over here is sine theta is 4 by 3. 
sin theta is 4 by 3. Is it true or false? Is it valid or invalid? The trigonometric formula like for this sine theta is false. There's no specific value. Yeah. It is opposite over hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is in the denominator and in the denominator value looks smaller. Okay. So even if it is a reduced form of the fraction, the numerator should be a smaller number and the denominator should be greater number. Okay. So we are done. Let's move. Now we will be finding the value for sine 45. Directly also I can tell you what is the value for sine 45, what is the value for cos 45, but let's find it. Okay, let's try finding. So how we will be getting 45 degree? Trigonometry here, just when we have started this chapter, I told you that this chapter is completely about trigonometric ratios and right angle triangle. Okay, triangle, but not any other triangle, right angle triangle. So, of course, we will be drawing a right angle triangle. We are 190 degrees there. Now, if we have to find 45 degree, that means the other two angles are acute angle. One of them is 45 degree. So, the other one is also 45 only. Because in a, in a triangle, sum of all interior angle is 180 degree. Yes or no? What I'm trying to say, it's not clear. Then let me show you. You have made a right angle triangle, 90 degree. Of course, you have to mention over there. Now, one of the angle you want to take as a 45. Then automatically, automatically the remaining angle will come out as a 45 degree. Check it. Angle sum property 180 minus 90 plus 45, it will be 45 only. So the remaining angle automatically came out as a 45. Is it okay? Yes. Now we have to find sine 45. Okay, we will find sine 45. But at first, at first, can we say that this right angle triangle for now became isosceles triangle? Can we say? Can be where we are this side, which two sides will be equal if angle A is equal to angle C, then which two sides will be of same length? A, B, and B, C. A, B, and B, C here. Yeah. A, B, and B, C both will be same because. Two angles are same, so opposite to those angles, whatever side will be there, those side will be of equal length. Now, let's assume that A, B, B, C both are A. Okay, one of them we are assuming, but since both are same, both will be A. We are just assuming. Okay, let's assume. Let's find the hypotenuse then. By using Pythagoras theorem, please find the hypotenuse. If one of the side is A, another side is A, then the hypotenuse will be. Hypotenuse will be. Root 2A. Is it so? Yes. So we can say that hypotenuse is root 2a. We have just taken the assumption that sides are, these two sides are same. We have taken that as a a. By Pythagoras theorem, we got the hypotenuse as a root 2a. Now our motto, our purpose is to find sine 45 degree. Okay. If we will look at the triangle, we can focus on angle a. Or maybe we can focus on angle c because both are 45. 
Okay. If we will focus on angle A, formula is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite side is BC over hypotenuse AC. It is coming from here A by root 2A. Or if you will focus on angle C, which is also 45 degree. Okay. If you will focus on angle C, still you are getting opposite as a A and hypotenuse, it's constant, same. So sine 45 degree, we are getting the value as a, can we say it is nothing but 1 by root 2. From any case, from any scenario, we are trying to calculate the value for sine 45, we are getting as a 1 by root 2. Yes or no? Okay, so from now onward, we will memorize it. That the value for sine 45 degree is 1 by root 2. Okay, the value for sine 45 degree is 1 by root 2. How you got that? That will not come in exam. But we have seen that process also. We have drawn a right angle triangle. We have mentioned that one of the angle is 45. Another automatically came out as a 45. Then we have taken assumption that one of the side is A. Since two angles were same, automatically two sides became same over here. So our assumption as a A, which we have taken as a AB maybe, that BC also became A only. And hypotenuse we have calculated in terms of A by using Pythagoras theorem. Okay. And then we have calculated sine 45 degree from scratch. Yes or no? Now we will see what is the value for cos 45 degree. The form again, you can take and you can focus on angle A or maybe you can focus on angle C. Same same result you will be getting adjacent side over hypotenuse. Here adjacent is A, hypotenuse is root 2A. So cos 45 also you will be getting Cos 45, try it, you will be getting A in the numerator and root 2 A in the denominator, which will be 1 by root 2. Is it crystal clear to all of you that the value for sine 45 is 1 by root 2 and the value for cos 45 is 1 by root 2? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We, we need to learn this values. Now, tan 45. We will be finding tan 45 by ourselves because we know that we know that tan is just the combination of sine and cos. Tan means sine by cos. I have written it our first class. So tan 45 means sine 45 by cos 45. Now only we found that sine 45 degree is 1 by root 2. Cos 45 degree is 1 by root 2. So can we say tan 45 is just 1? Yes. 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 Similarly, now the question is what is cot 45? So we know the reciprocal and all that concept is clear to us. However, we can find it from the triangle also. But we understand the that cosec is the reciprocal of sine. So cosec 45 degree value will be whatever is the sine 45 degree value that's reciprocal. 1 by root 2 is over here. It will be just root 2 by 1. That means just root 2 we can write. Yes or no? Yes. Similarly, sec 45 degree. Cos is 1 by root 2. Sec is just the reciprocal of that. It is also root 2. Now, now cot 45. Tan 45 is 1. Cot 45 will be reciprocal of that. Reciprocal of 1 is 1 only. Now, let's summarize everything, whatever we have discussed so far. We have found that sine 45 degree is 1 by root 2. You need to learn it. In the next class, I'll be asking you what is the value of sine 45 degree. Cos 45 degree is 1 by root 2. Okay. Tan 45 degree we have found as a 1. Now, cot is also 1. Cosec. And sec is just root 2. Is it clear so far to everyone? Yes. Okay. 
So these are the angle which we need to memorize. Yes, sure, Maha. Which one? Ma'am, this uh, question from the starting. Yeah, sure. So here we are having. Here I'm explaining it over here. We have drawn a right angle triangle, 90 degree. Now we wanted to calculate sine 45. Then of course, one of the angle we must have 45 degree we realized that automatically the other angle also came as a 45. Now, in this triangle, let's name it ABC. In this triangle, we are we can notice that two angles are same. Then obviously, two sides will be same. Opposite sides will also be same. Opposite to this angle, side AB. And opposite to this angle, side BC. This two will also be same in length. Yes or no? Maha. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now we are assuming that let's uh, let's say AB is A, A unit. Then uh, BC will also be A unit. So we are saying that A. This is just our assumption. Now by using Pythagoras theorem, we are trying to find AC. So AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square. That means a square plus A square. That means 2A square. That means AC is nothing but root 2 and only A. Right? Right, Maha? Yes, ma'am. Now, sine 45 degree we have to find. So, shall we focus on angle A or angle C? I'm telling you, you can focus on angle A or maybe you can focus on angle C. You will be getting same result that is A by root 2A. Check it. Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Getting it? Either you are focusing on angle A or maybe angle C. You are getting opposite over hypotenuse as a A by root 2A. Yes or no, Maha? Yes. Now we are going to cancel this A and A and we are getting sine 45 degree value is 1 by root 2. Similarly, from here you will find cos 45 degree value is 1 by root 2. But just by looking at the triangle, adjacent side, adjacent over hypotenuse when we'll take. Okay, A and A will get cancelled out and the result will be 1 by root 2. So from now onward, you will memorize that the value, the result for sine 45 is 1 by root 2. The result for cos 45 is 1 by root 2. Now tan 45, in first class, I have explained you that tan is just a combination of sine and cos. So tan 45, we can find it from the triangle. But I am showing you other way also that tan 45 means sine 45 by cos 45. Okay, that means... 1 by root 2 over 1 by root 2. Everything will get cancelled out and tan 45 result is 1 only. Clear? Yes. Now we know that we know that cosec is the reciprocal of sine. So if sine 45 is 1 by root 2, cosec will be just root 2. Right? Yeah. Similarly, similarly, sec 45 will also be just root 2. 